Hi guys, this is Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, and boy oh boy do I have, I think, two hauls for you. One of them is going to be a bunch of stuff and Halloween, and the other one is going to be a bunch of stuff and Thanksgiving, and they're like covering my whole table and then covering my whole sofa, <laughs> so it's a lot of stuff. Um, fall and Halloween decor has definitely dropped in New York. So this is big news for all of us that have been waiting. And pretty much, I I just, I can't believe how much, they just put everything out all at once. I don't even remember it ever being like that before. Usually you go in and they like tease you with one thing at a time. But every store in my area just had everything out. And that's it. And it was, it was like, it was kind of crazy. People were crazy. There were a lot of, DIY ladies that were they were jonesing they were also Dollar Tree addicts I could tell they were ready to push somebody took things out of my cart that's how crazy it was yep someone took my striped glasses um, that I don't know I've seen them <laughs> I'm even wearing a striped shirt today because I guess I'm mourning the loss of that haul um, I had the last, and I even took footage of them. I took a video of them to show you guys how cool they were. And then I was like, oh my God, I could use those in a DIY. And everything came into my head all at once. How I was gonna use um, either an old flower, but this came directly out of my garden, but they don't sell them right now. They're sold out, this is from the summer, but these are the hanging baskets or, one of these waste baskets and those um, striped polka dot and then striped the other direction black and white candles that I'll have to put footage of in because they're amazing and someone took them out of my cart but don't you guys worry I will find them and the DIY will happen um, so that was it was devastating but the way I see it is that they must have needed it more than I did and so I just let it go. <laughs> the next item that I picked up was two cases of this. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it. The other case is in my truck. It is called Crayola Funny Face Crazy Costumes. It comes with seven crayons, 22 interactive coloring pages. Now, I don't know whether it has some sort of QR code on it or you know what, we're gonna find out because I did buy it for the shelter, but I can open one carefully and we're gonna figure out what this is all about because can they just use any paper and get on this app and do these masks? I was thinking that some kids who can't go trick or treating, well, they're going to be allowed to trick or treat in the shelter. That's what I finally found out. So I'm gonna try to get lots of Halloween costume stuff to bring, plus back to school, Oh, this is so cute. So it's like a flip book of different faces and you color them. Awesome. This is what the pictures are, like an alien, a punk rocker, uh, I that looks like a margarita lady, a pirate, a clown, jack-o'-lantern, a cop, a lady with a bouffant putting on her lipstick, uh, a beanie hat, and is that a scuba, underwater, astronaut? I don't know what that one is. Um, Maybe that's like some sort of steampunk robot. That's like a 2020 robot kind of looking thing. <laughs> anyway, so you paint the faces all in. You can mix them up, do whatever you want with them. And then you go on this app on the computer. And it shows it to you like on the computer, just like in the box. Just, oh, just like, just like in the cover, Marina. Yeah, like that. So I think that. That's cool because you could do it right on your cell phone. They could do it on their cell phones. Uh, it could be like trick-or-treating healthy fun. And 
I guess they're not going to be able to share, obviously. Each family will only get one. They'll have to figure it out. Because um, I wasn't able to get like 75 of them. I have a funny feeling I won't find them again. They're pretty awesome. But I did get like 20. I wish I had bought all of them. But it's against my code of ethics to do something like that. Unless I'm really desperate and it's like the day before Christmas. Then all bets are off. I take anything on the shelf and I don't feel bad about it. I hardly ever take everything off the shelf, even if I absolutely want everything on the shelf. But when it comes to the children in the shelter, I will do it when it gets closer to Christmas. <laughs> but I, right now, it's fair game and it's not, a, it's not the right thing to do. I do have a code of ethics when it comes to the Dollar Tree. So the next couple of boring items that I picked up, but I'm going to show you guys them anyway. Um, it wasn't boring when I was looking for it. It was the only box I could find. That I'll tell you because I really need aluminum foil. This is the Reynolds Wrap uh, pre-cut pop-up. You get um, 25 sheets. I'm sure there are 25 sheets in here, but it has been open and it's kind of GV, but it's okay. I really needed them. And then because there were no more of these that I love buying and I always get them and I can't, I can't believe I ran out. I never run out of them. I always pick them up. Um, I bought these, which I've actually never bought before. Uh, so this actually says that it has 30 sheets. The next item that I picked up was, I don't think my cat will eat it. I'm going to give it a try because she almost never eats anything other than her cat food. She's and catnip, but they look so appealing that it's like pounce moist. Um, it looks... It looks like it's going to be a tasty treat for a cat. I want her to want it. Um, it's like heart-shaped. Isn't that so cute? And since yesterday was National Dog Day, and my dog got so much affection, we have to give Marmalade, our cat, equal affection. And so I got her this. It has It's three ounces. It says chicken flavor. I don't know. The only thing that she will ever do is if I leave butter on the counter, she'll give it a lick. And she thinks no one sees her because she doesn't want us to know that she likes anything. But we notice. Um, the next item that I picked up, which I can certainly attest to the fact of its deliciousness, because on the way home, this happens. I was like, I want to taste those. Oh my God, are they good. These are amazing by Stork, uh, Stork, yeah. Limited edition Werther's Originals by Stork brand. Pumpkin spice, uh, caramels. They're really soft. They are so good. I could just eat the whole bag. Um, 2.22 ounces. There's like a good amount in here. Um... There are about 10 in a bag. So they're 10 cents each and delectable. I also picked up the caramel apple filled hard candies. I actually love these and I pick them up every chance I get. These they have more often. I've never seen the limited edition pumpkin spice ones, but I've had these before and they're amazing. Uh, the next item that I picked up was the caramel apple soft caramels, kind of like the pumpkin spice, but in apple flavor. I've never seen these before, and they only had one bag, which means these must be even... Oh, these are limited edition also. These must be even more delicious than the other ones because these were gone. I only got one bag. I'll find more of those because I want to bring like a lot of those to the shelter. I bought like a bunch of different candy to try out and then I'm going to go out and hunt them out to bring tons of candy, um, school supplies. I want to also bring Halloween costumes. If anybody would like to donate a Halloween costume, if their kids outgrown their Halloween costumes, please leave a comment down below so I can let you know how to either send it to the shelter or send it to me directly because we need a lot of Halloween costumes. Um, the next item that I picked up were these adorable My Little Mermaid um, Disney Baby Soft Bristle Fine Teeth Brushes. 
There's a bunch of newborns and any little princess will love it. It's so cute, really nice. It's really Disney brand, so it's really well made. And I just love that. I found two, they have other princess, um, they have other princesses on these, but I just, I personally love them, <laughs> Little Mermaid. So I picked up the Little Mermaid. Um, I do have footage of the other ones, so I'll see if I can include that at the end of the video. The next item that I have in my haul brings me great sadness because I bought it to put in my cool striped um, Halloween decor glasses. And this is all that was left. This is the 60 hour tea light candle color changing. You know, it does the color changing effect, red, blue, green. I had three of them in my, the cart. I guess the person that stole the things out of my cart helped themselves to two of these as well. That's okay. I'll find them. Um, so the next item that I picked up was some of these Sure Fresh. I buy any kind of Ziploc bag that they have. They're all good. 13 bags. Whichever one has the most amount of gallon size bags is what I pick up. Um, so they're great. I love them. I use them all the time and I picked those up and I also picked up the quart size because it has 16 by glad. These are great too for, you know, fruits and sandwiches and whatever. Uh, the next item that I picked up was, I've never bought this actually from Dollar Tree. I've never been lucky enough to find this part. So I found one and I was really happy because I buy these at Bath and Body Works and they're so expensive. So it's the, it's kind of like the Airwick or whatever. That's what they compare it to. It says scented oil warmer diffuser. Um, sure sense. It, oh, they don't say what they compare it to. <laughs> it says fits all air... Fitz Airwick Oil Warmers. Sure sense. Wait, this goes in here though, doesn't it? This is a Greenbrier product. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming that they make these for something that's a design, because Air, Airwick is designer. So this one is, so this is the actual thing you plug in, obviously, for those of you who have never seen it. Um, and you get 0.7 fluent ounce. So it's a little over a half ounce of oil. I know this is the one I'm going to like the most. I did buy I did buy all of them that they had. I don't know if there's more. I bought red honeysuckle and lavender and amber woods. But I have a funny feeling I'm going to love amber woods because I just have a funny feeling. I always like the ones that are called... I dropped it. Okay, I'm back. So, I guess you open it, you unscrew it. Oh. Amber Woods doesn't smell like what I thought it was going to smell like. I thought it was going to be incense kind of like Bath and Body Works, Twilight, But, um, it smells good. It smells, it doesn't smell like what I thought it was going to smell like. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. Like, it smells like Apple Jolly Rancher. Oh, so maybe they mean like Apple Orchard Woods, not like Amber Fall sandalwood patchouli-ish, which is what I was fantasizing it smelled like, which is the kind of smell I love. It's okay. It smells, it smells like Apple Jolly Rancher. So that one smells like Apple Jolly Rancher. And then this one, my hands are so oily that they're just slipping. Okay. So this one is red honeysuckle. I wonder what this one smells like. Um, I'm going to assume it's going to have like a light floral smell. We're going to find out.
Ah, oh, that one smells good, actually. It smells... Yeah, it's like a really light floral smell. Like honeydew melon more than honeysuckle. It smells sweet and honey, like honeydew melon. It smells like honeydew melon. And lavender. Now, you can't really go wrong with lavender unless they make it smell like bathroom cleaner, which I've had happen and it's purple. We're going to find out right now. For anybody that was scared, I wish I had smell-o-vision. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, that one's good. Wow, see that? This is why you have to try everything at the Dollar Tree. If I had just gone with my gut by words, I would have just only bought Amber Woods and I would have never bought it again. But because I do this, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try them all and I'm going to try, even though you guys can't smell it, I'm going to try to describe what it smells like for those that know what kind of smell they like. But really, if you like, if you had read that this was like Apple Orchard, and then you opened it, you would love it. But I just wasn't, it actually smells good. It smells like Apple Jolly Rancher. But I wasn't expecting that from Amber Woods. So, and my nose knows. I have a good nose. So, I don't know. You guys test it out and tell me what you think. The next item that I found that I thought was like pretty cool. I haven't seen this before and I love this brand. Soft Lips, Smile with Soft Lips, Tropical Coconut Lip Protectant, Hydrate, delightfully now that is good packaging because I want to hydrate delightfully with coconut so soft lips sold me and that's 0.7 ounces it's really skinny it's a really thin little package sometimes they're longer but maybe this one is real good so you get less Oh my God, that smells good. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. I actually love it. I had a feeling I was going to love it. I'm really weird about chapsticks and stuff, and I don't love all of them. One of the next items that I picked up, really is delicious in rice pudding, is Champion Jumbo Raisin Medley. And for 99 cents, it's a great deal. It has an assortment of three different red, uh, black, and um, golden grapes. It's really yummy uh, in rice pudding, oatmeal, anything like that. And at the supermarket, and they're non-GMO, GMO-free. At the supermarket, these are like five bucks. So 3.5 ounce. I would buy these all day long, but they don't always have them. So the next item that I picked up was in the fun find section and it's a set of string lights 10 count it's from like this cosmic um, I do have some footage and I'm gonna include it at the end of the haul video on that it's a Greenbrier product and um, I did also pick up just to make my life easier and also because this time they're magnetic um, the six piece tool bench, uh, precision tool kit set screwdriver set. <laughs> but, um, I do have a few of these, uh, but I picked it up just so I knew where it was because as, as some of you guys may know, lately these light sets always have the little screw and you cannot put anything in them until you get it, um, unscrewed and opened and I just wanted to be sure that I had it so I picked up another set I these are like galactic planet Saturns with rings I put some batteries in it it's pretty cool but my thought was they're purple and if I don't find spiders or anything creepy 
ah, that could pass as a spider in my whole DIY theme because I have a whole idea of what I'm going to do with those cool um, baskets and I have a DIY theme going on in my head and I needed purple spider lights. But since I didn't see purple spider lights, I was like, you know what? Purple Saturn lights are just as good. And then after Halloween, they become Saturn lights, which is even cooler. I could even gift them to a kid or something. They're so cute. So cute. Um, most of the DIYs that I make, I'm going to make a couple of and bring them to the shelter as well so that the kids can use them because, you know, I have a lot of Halloween stuff in my house. Um, so I, but those, I don't know if all of you guys have known that they do have ones that are magnetic and ones that are not magnetic. And when you're picking it up, you really want to get the one that's magnetic because if you drop that little screw, all bets are off. You're never finding it, or at least I'm not. One of the next items that I found, and I was so excited to find it in green because I have green eyes and I would not want anything but green or black, but I would want green. And if it doesn't work now that I got so excited and so happy about talking about it, I, ugh, I just jinxed it. I hope I didn't jinx it, but it is Jessie's Girl Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Super Fine Applicator olive green uh, not a green briar product jesse's girl is a good brand um brush made in japan made in taiwan i'm very impressed that the brush is made it says that the brush is made in japan and the rest of it is made in taiwan oh wow that's nice i love it it's very cool. It does make a fine line. It's a really nice brush, actually. Very cool. I don't know why I made like a whole eyeball on this side. It's just, a, it's a really nice color. It's like a golden green. Wow, and you can't, I can't get it off now. Wow, that's... That really stays on. That's like permanent marker. <laughs> cool. That is so worth a dollar. I have seen a bunch of people hauling blues. And I think a gray, which I like gray. Also, I found out recently when I hauled a wet and wild one. But I definitely love this. This is really pretty and I really like it. I'm so excited that I found it in green. Um, the next item that I found, it's called Matte Velvet Finish. The name of the brand is Flower, which I think is an expensive brand, actually. I'm not sure, but I think it's an expensive brand. Um, it's called Lip Suede. Life's a Peach. Orchid and Papaya Hydrate and Help Soothe Lips. A uh, hydrator. I don't know if it's a lipstick or a chapstick. I don't know what it is. We're about to find out. <laughs> it's called a velvet lip chubby. Oh, and it goes up like that. nice actually it's a nice light I don't I never wear the color like that uh but if you blend it in it could be nice to be like natural if you don't want to have any makeup on at all just flowerbeauty.com and it has a lot of French written on it I don't know what it's about I but I'm gonna look into it because it seems like it's an expensive product So we're moving into Halloween decor. One of the next items that I found that I love is this pack of six glitter spiders. Now, 
these spiders are gonna be super cute in the DIY that I wanna do, but you could like make clips out of them, earrings out of them. I just, I just wanna wear these spiders for Halloween. They're so cool. Um, and I'm not scared of these spiders because I'm not scared of glitter. I'm scared of the spiders that live outside of my house and they're like this big sometimes. Um, so I'm definitely going to be using them in my DIY project, but I think I might save a couple to make into clips for future Halloweens. Because this one, I don't know what this Halloween is going to be like, but Halloween is my favorite holiday. And I happen to think these are some of the cutest glitter spiders I've ever seen because of the way that they are segmented. So cute. I love them. And six for that for a dollar is a great price. The next item that I picked up are more spiders. I picked up some purple spiders and some black spiders. And these are enormous. They actually do have one that's um, one for a dollar that's like one and a half the size of this. But this is perf these are perfectly perfect for what I want to do. And I think they're going to look great in my DIYs. Uh, one of the next items that I picked up is this absolutely fantabulous trick-or-treat sign. I love it. I love the side coloring. The, it's like a ch just a simple check, check print, uh, pla a checkered print. Regardless, um, it's trick-or-treat, and it has this cute uh, like vintage border, and it's got that tea-stained look it's just so cute and it can sit on your windowsill or anywhere on your desk it, you can hang it it does have the hanging thing i love it this is the kind of thing that i end up keeping forever this simple kind of halloween thing i love uh the next one that i picked up says happy halloween um i probably will bring this to the shelter because it's not too scary and it has cute polka dots and they can set it up somewhere when they're giving out things and it's like a simple not not super scary kind of decor piece very cute colors really nice and then i found this and even though it was damaged i bought it because it's so retro i don't know it's like a classic sort of halloween um, scary black cat with bats and it says trick or treat and it's orange. It's like just really retro and it has the jute cord, but it is missing. I have to fill that in with black marker. Not a big deal. I could actually handle that. And I just think it's really cute. I love it. I'm so the next items that I picked up are my fallen witch legs that you can either plant in your garden sticking out or your planter sticking out there's so many things that you could do with these absolutely adorable um witch's legs you could do you have to make sure that you get one of each because i really wanted the orange ones too but they only had the whichever foot it was, but they only had that one and they didn't have the other one. And I did pick up along with these glittery, gorgeous striped stock stocking, um, which feet, uh, I picked up the witch's hat wreath form, which I did see a lot of people also turn into a cornucopia for Thanksgiving, which is pretty cool. I would have never thought of that. Um, but I picked that up and I'm going to attempt to make the witch's hat with the feet sticking out. It's going to be a colossal wreath, but because I'm not the greatest wreath maker, in case anybody caught my DIY of wreath making and bow making, I did buy this one to kind of, if no one can figure out what it is, they'll be able to figure it out from that. And then I'll kind of fill in the rest of it and add the legs in. I could do it. It'll come out cool. 
I mean, I could have just done that and let it be, but I'm still going to make it bigger and better. And all of these things together were like four bucks, plus the purple and black mesh. That's like $8. A wreath that's like got all kinds of stuff like this going on would be easily $50 or more at Michael's. And this is going to be so cute. I mean, and I have like, I have all kinds of other purple glue. I could put the eyeballs in it, like her eye came out. I could put a broom sticking out the top of it. I could do a lot of things. I just, I love it. I love Halloween decorations. And I, I think I probably will take that to the shelter because the kids will really get a kick out of it. The next item that I picked up is this beware sign. Um, it's pretty cool. It has this cute, you know, graphic and a, a piece of ribbon to hang it on. Uh, it says beware. I, I actually really, really like it. I might hang it on my shutters or I only got one of these. I wish I had gotten two, but they decided to bring it to the shelter. I probably have a million things left over from last year that I could keep, but this is super duper cute. And it's a really big sign. Like it's, it's really big. I don't have a ruler, but it's over two feet tall. Uh, the next super happy moment in my day, because I was like, boy, I would pay 10 bucks for that sign. I like it so much. I probably would have bought this sign at Michael's for 10 bucks. No problem. How stinking beautiful, adorable is this? Like, what? I can't believe how cute this is. I wish that I could leave this up year round. Like, if I had a fancy room that I put my makeup on in, I would just take the pumpkin off and leave this all out year round. I love the colors. I don't even think if you, if it didn't have the pumpkin, it wouldn't even be super Halloweenish. It's just so adorable. I can't, I can't, I love it. I love this. I had to have it. Oh, uh, there's multiple of them in my hands. One is mine, my best friend Gretchen's and the other one's going to the shelter. It's so cute, and I should have bought more. I wish I had bought five, but I didn't want to be greedy. The next item that I picked up, Mabel got to, but it's all right, she didn't actually eat them. She just kind of tore the package apart, and then I ripped it out of her mouth before she got a chance to ruin them. They are four pieces, super duper cute purple glitter pumpkins. I love, well, I guess she did kind of, all right, so that one put up, we'll put on the back side. The rest of them are perfect. Okay, maybe not that one either. Well, she did sort of bite them, but I can make it work. That one's still perfect. I love it. They might go in, I think they're going to go in my um, spider themed uh, mesh garbage can whole DIY thing that I'm working on that I'm not ready to expose yet. And what else did I get? What else did I get? Oh, I did get, I scored one of these amazing haunted spooky beware metal mesh, um, mesh, metal um, signs. They are a really good size, haunted. I never figure out which, okay, if I can read it, then you can't. So haunted. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> it's a good size. And, okay, and beware very cute very I don't know what I'm gonna do with them um I have some ideas but I'm not sure yet but I'm definitely gonna do something with them because they're awesome the next things that I picked up is this really beautiful singer ribbon it is I'm gonna be using it in my it's like burgundy with this black like swirl, uh, kind of 90s looking print ribbon, but 
I think it's gonna look super cool in my purple glitter witch's hat and other DIYs for Halloween. And uh, you get one and a half inches by nine feet. That's a lot of really good grow grain ribbon. Uh, it's not grow grain, but it's still really nice ribbon. It's very beautiful ribbon for a dollar. That's a great deal. Uh, the next item that I picked up is this little home sign. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might take the home out and use the base to put some other stuff in to hold up like that. But uh, it could be something that I DIY for the fall or I'm not sure. But I know that you can remove. I can't do it right now, but I know that it could be done. And uh, yeah, so I got that. I can also just glue it on top of it so that it'll hold something up because uh, I'm still hoping to find the um, pumpkin wreath form to make one of those standing wreaths, like centerpieces for um, the shelter. The next item that I picked up was Oh, I just have so many things left. I did actually pick up a whole bunch of this toilet paper. I don't know if anybody's ever tried it, but it's just like Scott Tissue and a dollar a roll. Uh, it's really convenient to pick it up at the Dollar Tree because I'd rather go to Dollar Tree than any other store in the world. And I think that it's comparable to Scott Tissue, which doesn't ever clog the toilet. It's not glamorous or fun, but toilet paper is a big deal. <laughs> Because when nobody had any a few months ago, I paid 60 bucks for a pack of toilet paper on eBay. Trust me, it's important to have toilet paper in the house. Uh, the next item that I picked up to give to some people that love flamingos is this cute flamingo pen. Um, I actually never saw it before, but it's so cute and very Florida and very cute. The next item that I picked up is super random, but I had never seen them. And I don't really think that I'll wear them like that. But I think that around Halloween time, it'll be fun to wear them in my hair. Because it's almost like I'm wearing cat ears, but it's not really a Halloween costume. And I could get away with just walking around with these in my hair for probably all of October. I feel like they look cool. These are the silly things that make me happy as I walk around Dollar Tree. The next item that I picked up, oh my God, I have tons of candy. So I decided that we were gonna buy a whole bunch of different candy to try out and then I'll buy like probably like 200 bags of candy and bring them so that kids can get like individual bags. Cause they're not gonna say Sour Punch Bites Tropical Blends. I've never heard of that, sounds yummy. Um, gonna open it up actually and see if it is yummy I love sour candy this is probably amazing wow my son is gonna love that I got um sour peach and it is really good. It tastes like those sour peach lollipops from a million years ago that they used to sell for like five cents. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but I loved those. Um, the next item that I found is Halloween. I forgot about it. Is this ghost. I only found one. He was the last one. He's a little lopsided, but he is dead, so... You know, can't expect too much. And I'm going to try to get a few more of these because these are really good for the shelter. We can hang them up in the ugly drop ceilings and all through the hallways. So, like, I wish I could have gotten 20 of these, but I got one and I'll find more. The next item that I picked up to try out are the Mamba Tropics. That sounds really fun too, but I don't think I can handle any more candy right now. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that Mamba is by Stork also. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't know that. Did they get bought by them? They kind of feel softer now. 
If anybody knew that, please leave a comment down below. But my son absolutely loves Mambas. They're apple, kiwi, peach, passion fruit, uh, mango, orange, and pineapple coconut. These are going to be amazing. Well, he likes them. I don't like them. I like sour candies, um, but he loves them. And then um, I saw these. I've never seen them before. Orange cream pop Twizzlers. And they're filled. Oh, they're filled. Wow, these are exciting. <laughs> these are like those other ones that I've seen that I don't think they're made by Twizzlers that are filled with something in them. <laughs> but uh, whatever. My son will try these out and then let me know if I should get more of that. Um, so the next items that I picked up are this absolutely adorable, not for Halloween, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm in love with it. I kind of want to get another one so that I have like six of them and put it in my garden window in my kitchen because they're so cute, but I only found one, um, then another one of these. The next item that I found were these, and I use them to keep my, like when I use hot curlers, not that you could tell, but I actually use hot curlers in my hair. Um, instead of using those little things that are shaped like that that holds them in, I like to just clip them with these. It makes them so much easier to use. So I actually got a couple of packs of those because sometimes I drop them and Mabel kamikazes them and, and then it's all over. She is a very fast Boston Terrier. Um, the next thing that I picked up, believe it or not, I picked up for for Valentine's Day uh, in February because it says choose love, but it was in the fun find section, but I just think it's such a cute sign and I love, I love the word love. I don't think that love is for Valentine's Day. Love is for all year round. Love is what makes the world work, but choose love it's such a beautiful it's a beautiful sign actually if i wouldn't look like a cuckoo person i would keep this up year round but i won't but i kind of want to so i bought it now and i can look forward to using it in february it does have glitter but it's not it's not really that bad well i guess it is i love it anyway uh the next item that i picked up is this Armor All Original Protectant. Um, the other day I picked up a different one, uh, the, the like original cleaner, but this is the protectant that cleans, shines, and protects from UV damage. The non-greasy formula helps keep vehicles looking like new. This is the one that makes everything have that like super high shine that doesn't let your like dashboard fade out and stuff. And, if your dashboard is starting to like fade out and you use this, it kind of shines it up. But um, it's four ounces of original Armor All. This is a really amazing deal. Right now, Dollar Tree has a lot of Armor All products. I took footage of that and I will be adding that to the end of my video as well um, because there's just a lot of really great things in Dollar Tree right now. It's just, just so much. There's a huge abundance. Um, Oh, what this I don't know if anyone's ever tried this I wish that you guys could smell this this I've just been spraying this everywhere it just smells like baby powder Johnson and Johnson's baby powder it is so clean and it just smells like a baby's baby a baby um, baby room air freshener I I go, I go two completely different way, ways in the world of air freshener. I like fresh, clean, baby powdery smell, and I have glitter in my hair, or incense -y, intense, overbearing, um, like patchouli, sandalwood, incense -y fragrances. But the thing is, I like baby powder in the bathroom and the bedroom and incense -y in the kitchen and the living room because I just don't think that when you're sleeping you want to have like I don't know I just keep them very separate but this I've never ever gotten anything like this at Dollar Tree before I've never seen this before I couldn't believe how good it smelled like I almost I just could even in the store 
the lady sprayed it and it's so potent that I smelled it through my mask. And I was like, what is that smell? I'm smelling something. And I, I was like, wow, that's some good stuff. And they had so much of it. And I wish I had, I don't know what the hell, I was thinking that I didn't get more of it. I should have bought more, but I had so many things in my cart that I would, I'm gonna go and get more probably tomorrow. So I did also pick up this brown shoe polish for an upcoming DIY. It'll be revealed shortly, but it's, uh, it, it's like a pretty good brown. I've bought it before and it goes a long way in the whole using it as a stain kind of thing. I mix it with like a uh, water. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you saw anything that you enjoyed or want to come back again, uh, it's important that we get subscribers so that people can come and find us. And um, I just want to thank you for being here and sharing my haul with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye. And we come over here and see a ton of Halloween kitchen decor. If you got it, flaunt it. The towel, the oven mitt, the pot holders, and this sort of matches. But this is its real match. Uh, Day of the Dead kitchen towel to go with the coffee cup and the side plates. And we have when witches go riding and black cats uh, are seen, you know it's Halloween. Super cute. Oh, yes. Very cute. Section, there are some cute new towels. Forks to be reckoned with. Roll with it. Love cooking. And this one says, cook, eat, and be happy. But I have to be honest, when I first looked at it, I kind of thought it said, cook, cat, and be happy. And I was baffled. I... I, I wouldn't get this one, even though I love the color, because <laughs> I don't know. But it says cook, eat, and be happy. Um, I think the forks, forks to be reckoned with is super cute because it's orange. There is a very large selection of four ounce, the car wash is 10 ounce, armor all, protectant this is the original protectant multi-purpose auto cleaner auto glass cleaner spray wax ultra shine extreme wheel and tire cleaner tire foam and car wash very exciting this is new to me I've never seen this many choices in the armor all brand name and again, this is the original that shines everything up. Section. And here in the Halloween section, we have a lot of cool window and door signs with appliques, happy haunting, trick or treat, which way to the treats. Very glittery has a really cute owl. Beware of ghosts. Happy Halloween, which is beware spooky boo, creepy haunted. Trick or treat, happy haunting, haunted houses, jack-o'-lanterns, Toil and Trouble, Cobwebs, Black Cats. Really cute, really cute signs. Home of a spooky witch and handsome devil and their ghoulish goblins. Come in for a spell. Very, very 1960s bewitched, love it. Join our Black Hats Society, inquire inside. kind of like the one from last year but not exactly and then there's this trick-or-treat sign it's very retro also very cute and welcome my pretties and a happy Halloween sign